secret of happiness? And can one truly be happy throughout their life? Let me tell you a story about a king. Uh, he was a hypochondriac, uh, which means he always thought he was suffering from something or the other. And uh, he has some disease or illness. And his queen, his you know, attendants, the courtiers the, were you know fed up of him. His physicians that every day he is complaining of either some you know toothache or his body ache, or, and they knew it's nothing. It's all in his mind, his imagination. He's an hypochondriac. So one day he called his head physician. He says, you know, I need you need to heal me. My feet are burning, and you know my body is on fire and my head is spinning, you need to cure me. The head physician was a wise, uh, you know, old man, and he decided to finally rid the king of his misery. So he told the king, it's actually quite easy to find a solution to your problem. All your physical ailments will go away. All your physical problems will go away. You only have to do one thing. You find a happy man and wear his shirt for one day. And you'll be fine. The king says, Wow, well, that's easy. I'll just find a happy man. So, all his guards who were standing and the attendants, he just called all, all of them right away Come, which one of you is happy? Give me a shirt. They all said, Sir, your lordship, we are not happy. We lead wretched lives. We are very unhappy. He says, Okay, call my nobleman and my generals and uh, into the court, I want to meet all of them. So all the noblemen and the generals were called into his court. And uh, he asked them, so which one of you is happy? Tell me. I just need to borrow your shirt for a day. They all hung their head. No, we have so much responsibility. We have so much stress in our lives. We are hardly happy. We can't call ourselves happy. We're not happy people. Now, the king said what to do. So he sent his soldiers out into the city. He said, go into the city and find the happy man. He was sure in, in his entire city, there would certainly be a happy man. By the end of the day, his soldiers come back and inform him, your lordship, sorry, we could not find a single happy man in the city. What you do is make teams and go to every corner of my kingdom and bring me a happy man. After a month, all the teams from various corners of his kingdom returned and gave him the bad news. Sorry, sir, there is not a single happy man in your kingdom. The king blew his fuse. He said, you guys are good for nothing. You are imbeciles. I will go out myself and find a happy man. So he took up, went, you know, sat on his chariot, took some uh, a small army with him, and started going through his kingdom. And every person he would meet on the street, he would ask him, are you a happy man? And he always got the answer, no. Finally, after six months of searching, in some far, you know, corner of his kingdom, he was uh, sitting in his tent and contemplating his death. He was saying, now I will surely die. If I can't find a happy man with so much illness and so much diseases I have, which of course were all imaginary, I'm certainly going to die. Then suddenly, two of his generals rushed into the tent. Sir, good news, we have found a happy man. King was elated. He said, okay, bring my chariot. Let me go to this person. He, see, he saw an old uh, fakir, old uh, person, sitting under a tree. He touched his feet in reverence. The king touched his feet in reverence and asked him, Sir, are you a happy man? He said, yes, I'm very happy. He said, can I borrow your shirt so I can wear it just for a day? And the man replied, he laughed first and replied, but I don't own a shirt. So, it's definitely possible to be happy, but you are never going to be happy if, you're going to, if you are going to look for happiness outside. Because there is no happiness outside. The happiness is only within. So once within you are happy, there is no need 
to search and uh, go all over the world trying to find happiness, either in objects, things, or in people. Just look within oneself and you will find happiness.